On today's Maker Mashup, an update video to the bug we found in the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.4. So on today's Maker Mashup, I just wanted to put together a quick update video regarding the bug that we found in Big Tree Tech's SKR version 1.4 and 1.4 Turbo as it relates to the end stops, specifically an optical Z end stop when it is being used on the SKR. So on April 21st of 2020, I released a video that more or less showed how I could recreate this bug as it relates to the Z end stop being an optical end stop and that end stop not working properly with the SKR board. It simply wouldn't trigger. And there's a card up at the top so you can see that video if you haven't watched it already. So overall, the process of identifying the bug, communicating with Big Tree Tech over the issue, and getting some replacement boards was a little discouraging. Uh, I felt it was a very long drawn out process that probably could have been handled better. So what I wanna do is just kind of run down how the series of events went, and then what the resolution was from Big Tree Tech. So on January 29th of 2020, I reached out to Big Tree Tech and said, I have a problem with this board. I provided all of my documentation and evidence for it, and I heard nothing back from them. So I followed up with them several different times. I was sending emails roughly once a week. And then finally, on February 27th, I received a reply stating that what they had found was in very recent days, the wrong resistor was in place on the board and that was causing the problem with the ZN stop. As a matter of fact, they didn't actually come out and say that it was the problem. They said it may have been the problem and they had provided me the information and a screenshot of the board that I talk about in that other video. So after they had replied back, I had continued to try to communicate with Big Tree Tech over the issue. I wanted to find out what they were gonna do about it and what was going to happen. And I really received no feedback from them in the entire timeline until I published a video on April 21st, which is the one that I'm talking about with the bug in the SKR version 1.4. So on April 22nd, the day after the video, I received an email from Big Tree Tech and they said that they had indeed fixed this board and that units that were sent out in production after February 26th had the correct resistor in it that solved that problem. So I communicated with Big Tree Tech and I said I would certainly produce an update video as soon as I received some replacement boards so I could test and validate because up until this point, every board that I bought on Amazon uh, was ending up with this particular bug in it. And I had people then reach out to me and say, well, there's ways that you can get around it. You can use a probe, you can use uh, you know, any other different methods like uh, switching the end stops around. So there was a lot of different people that were trying to solve the problem, but for me, it really wasn't the point. What I was trying to do for everyone here was to ensure that I could actually validate one of their boards post issue. So they said this issue was solved on February 26th. I wanted to validate it post issue and go ahead and produce a video where I could say I've tested it, it's updated, everything is good to go. So on April 27th, Big Tree Tech said that they would send me some replacement boards. So I had three here and I was expecting to receive three boards uh, sometime after April 27th. After the boards were sent, I waited, I asked for a tracking number a couple of days later, they gave me one and I just monitored the package. And it took all the way until June 30th of 2020 to receive the boards. Now, I was a little disappointed because I had three defective boards and I thought for sure Big Tree Tech would have sent me three replacement boards. I received two boards, which I can't really complain about. They were nice enough to send them. So thank you, Big Tree Tech, for sending those boards, but a little discouraged that I still had uh, these boards that I couldn't use optical end stops on. Now, granted, I can do workarounds and there's different ways to fix it. So I appreciate that they sent those boards but I was a little disappointed from the customer service standpoint of a customer identifies the issue, doesn't really have good communication from Big Tree Tech, 
And then when they do say they're going to send a replacement board, they only send two out of the three. So for me, I felt like that was pretty disappointing in the process overall. The big frustration with this was really the timeline to get everything complete. I had an issue. I produced a video and I said, hey, I'm not really receiving a response. Here's what I've found. Here's the response I've received from Big Tree Tech. Then I got a response from Big Tree Tech saying, hey, we definitely fixed this issue. Uh, I asked for the replacement boards. Then those boards took two months to get here. It was like 64 days for them to be sent over here before I could validate them and produce this video. So that's the update. I wanted to tell everybody what happened and kind of uh, explain the duration of the time uh, and how long it took to really resolve this issue. But indeed, Big Tree Tech did come through. They sent me uh, two out of the three boards that I had that were defective and I've tested them and they are working great. So you can at least feel good that if you're buying one of these boards now, chances are you're not gonna have this bug in the particular board that you purchased. So now my question is to you, the viewers, what do you think of this particular issue? Do you think that Big Tree Tech should have solved it a different way? Do you think there should have been more urgency? Do you think there should have been more transparency? And I would really like to hear your comments down in the comments below of the video. Uh, please let me know your feedback. I'm very interested to see how you feel about this issue. I think that customer service and communication is really important when you're running a business and you're selling things to people and uh, they need that support. Uh, I really think that that's a, a key part of any a uh, good business model. But, you know, there could have been other issues that was preventing Big Tree Tech from communicating. COVID, I'm sure, was playing part in that. But I do want to hear from you, the viewers, and please let me know your thoughts on this particular uh, problem in this video. So with that, it's going to bring the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe and click that bell so you get instant notification of when we release new videos. So once again, I want to thank Big Tree Tech for sending those replacement boards over. And I want to thank you, the viewers, for watching this video. And we will see you all next time.